because there are two main paradigms that I want to talk about. The first one is living a life of reaction and the second one is living a life of action. Now these two paradigms reside on different levels of awareness or consciousness. Living in reaction being of the lower vibration. So let's talk about reaction first. Now, living reaction is akin to putting a letter into a bottle and throwing the letter into the Pacific Ocean from Sydney, Australia and hoping that it gets to Manhattan, New York. Living reaction is waking up in the morning to the sound of your alarm and hitting snooze and going back to sleep and only getting up when you have to to rush the traffic to get to the job that you hate. The job that you happen to get because your parents advised you on it or maybe your friend told you to get it. Living in reaction is being in debt and not knowing how you got in debt. It's purchasing lavish things that you can't afford to impress your neighbors and then suffering afterwards and not understanding how you got in that situation. Living a reaction is having a family situation that you don't like. Perhaps you married the wrong woman and now she wants to divorce you. You've got kids. The family order is dysfunctional. No one loves each other. There's just codependence. Everyone's just there because you need each other for money or for support for your insecurities. Living in reaction is looking back at your life and seeing how quickly time has flown by you, how quickly time has bamboozled you, and how much you didn't do. You didn't achieve any of the things you thought you were going to achieve. And the person who lives in reaction, this person then blames their mom. This person blames their wife, their friends, their dad, their daughter. They blame everyone. They blame God. They blame everyone besides themselves. And so living in reaction is of the lower vibration. It's of the lower energy level. And it's the easier option. Now let's talk about the second paradigm of the higher awareness level, which is a life of action. It's understanding that you shape your will and you're the master of your destiny. It's understanding that life is not fair, but you're going to deal with it anyway. You're going to deal with the shit that arises up in life. You become a good counterpuncher. Whenever something comes up, you learn to make it to your advantage. You become an alchemist in the sense of you turn shit into sugar or shit into gold. You become crystal clear in your vision. Every day you have a set amount of things that you have to accomplish. Every week you get closer and closer to that vision. Every month closer. You can see your progress. Time does not bamboozle you because you are keeping track of time. You understand that time is a limited resource. You understand that time is your most valuable resource. So you don't let it creep up on you. You are very aware of your time. You understand that there are no handouts and that no one gives you shit. No one owes you shit. If you want to get something, you're not gonna have to go out there and get it yourself. But you're okay with that. Living a life of actions, having massive self-awareness. Being able to leverage your virtues. Being able to understand your vices. Understanding that you have a skill set that no one else on the planet possesses. A set number of attributes in a set combination that no one else on this planet will have and you're going to use that to get what you want to get. It's emotional mastery. People that live in reaction don't want to do the small things. They don't want to do the things that have friction or a bit of negativity that require you to exert yourself. But you do them anyway, not because you like them, but because you know it's necessary. Because you know that it's needed to get one step closer to that crystal clear vision that we were talking about before. So ask yourself this, what type of life are you living? Are you in reaction or are you taking action?